welcome grade four to your grade level link. We are in now week two. I can't believe it, it's flying by. And last time I saw you, we made our mannequin, which is going to be used to put our outfit on that we designed. So what you need today are some very simple supplies. And I'm gonna show you them now. I have some glue, I have some scissors, I have a Sharpie, but you can use a plain black pen, that's fine. I also have some tape in case if I need it again. And I took some paper towels. If you don't have paper towels, you can use plain white tissue. You can use white tissue paper, okay? So you have to kind of think out of the box a little bit if you're at home. And what I want to do now is I want to start taking this paper towel as if it was fabric and I want to start playing with it and seeing what I can do with it. So I'm going to just move the little mannequin off to the side for a minute. And this paper towel can be used to create the top and the bottom of your outfit. If you take this, and I'll move it down for you so you can see. Big. See, it's too long. So I have to, what I'm going to do is lay my mannequin down. And I'm going to find the kind of the top of the cup. And I'm going to measure where his waistline is and put a little dot. And using that dot as a guide, I'm going to cut the paper towel. So it's like I'm cutting fabric, right? So now, if I wrap that around, which I'm going to do. Do you see how it was measured right where the waist is now. So it's also a little long, so I'm gonna trim some of this off. Okay, save your scraps, because you can use them. I'm gonna take a little bit of Elmer's glue, shake it down to the bottom, and I'm gonna run a little glue just around, and not too much, just the outside edge. I'll show it to you up close. You see it right there and on the edges? Okay. And I actually cut my arms a little bit shorter because I know that I'm not going to have sleeves on mine. So I'm going to just put it on and wrap it around and just let it stick onto the back. Now, obviously, we know this isn't going to be 100% perfect, but that's okay. Put the arms down. And I think I made the shirt a little long. Um, no, I think it's okay. I'll leave it for now. And now, to make it look like the shirt goes over the shoulder, remember those scraps that you throw out? Let's cut those in half. So I just cut them. And I think I'll put a little glue on the top and the bottom. So I put a little glue here and a little glue here. And I'm gonna start holding it over the outfit to start to make the top of the shirt. See, if you cut it in little pieces like the tape, it's much easier to work with. So do you see the sleeve forming? So I'm gonna take this here more glue and let's go around this here so you're basically cutting little strips and gluing it. I mean, it's so easy. Look at this. You do, the only thing is, you have to take your time. This is not a rush, quickie project. You have to just make sure you're gluing it. And if you're gluing it nicely, it's going to go. Now I want to work on that sleeve a bit. And I don't like what's happening here, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. So, let's see. Work my way under now. 
start to close up under the arm. So it looks like a real shirt. And I'm just gonna tuck this under here. There we go. Do you see what's happening? And I think I'm gonna take a nice even strip like that nice long strip and I'm gonna throw a little glue on it all the way down so the glue is almost acting like our sewing machine right and I'm just gonna run I'll start on the back here and I'm gonna run this all the way around it nicely and I'm gonna trim on the back I'm sort of just trimming off all that extra smooth it out but you see what it did and now gave the illusion that there's an article of clothing on the dress form so I want to show you if you want to put long sleeves on your outfit okay so it's very simple. All you need is a piece of paper towel that's gonna basically wrap around like a circle, like that, all right? And I'm gonna need two of them. So one like that, and then I'm gonna measure my paper towel and just kind of cut them evenly. All right, so I have two pieces that are gonna be my sleeves. And the first thing I'm gonna do is run a little glue on the end, oh, can you see that? On the end of the paper towel and just kind of roll it up like a tube. Okay, see how I made a sleeve? So there's one. And let me do that to the, to the other side. Okay, and now, if you take your scissors and just kind of put little, don't put too many, but just put a couple little snips like that. See what I did? They're just little tiny little cut marks on the top. If I run a little glue on each of those and I slide the arm in, those little cut marks will separate, allowing me to just mush it on. And now I have a long sleeve. No, I love it. And I think obviously that's a little too long, so I think I'll trim it. And I see a little piece of the shirt popping off. This is what's so nice about the paper towels. It's such an easy material to work with. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So here's my okay. I put a couple little cuts. Put a little glue on the inside. Slide the mannequin's arm in, mush it so it all folds out, and then just crush it. So cool. And it really, once it starts going on there, it really does act like fabric. Trim the arm. Okay, and I'm gonna use the little mannequin arm inside to push it down a little bit. Now, let's say you wanna put a collar on it. Again, just take a strip of the paper towel And this is where you have to look at a real shirt. A collar, I'll show you in mine, is a piece of fabric, Ooh, I don't know if I can show you, that's just folded down. So if mom or dad have a collared shirt at home, take a look. So look, just take a long piece, fold it down, take some glue, 
I'm gonna run a little glue inside there just to kind of keep that closed for me. I'm gonna run some glue going down the folded piece. Now where I would see the collar, I'm gonna start to put it on. Lay it down. Okay. Do you see how I made the collar on a shirt? I just basically wrapped it it around and I left it bubbled up on top. Now I don't want it to look like this at the bottom. So if I do that, I can just go back and do what I call a wrap around. A wrap around is like just take a new piece. I love this kind of stuff. I can just get caught up in using my imagination, thinking about how I want this to look. And the nice thing is sometimes when you do this, you don't even really know how it's gonna end up. It, it's sort of like, let your imagination make the project. You don't always have to have such a clear idea what you're doing. And this is what designers do all the time. They experiment, right? So I'm gonna just put a little more glue on the back of that collar. And again, with that paper towel, it just allows you to really glue without any problem. So look, you see I did a wrap around and it got rid of that stuff hanging off. Okay, so I think I have enough fabric that it's starting to construct something that I could definitely use for an outfit. And I'm just gonna make sure everything's pushed on nicely. And if something is not right, you can always just cut it off. See that? And now I can take my Sharpie and I can go ahead and using my Sharpie, I can start to draw It's gonna be open, like an open shirt with a t-shirt underneath. Black up there. So do you see my shirt forming? Pretty cool, right? So give it a try. Just take glue, scissors, and plain old paper towel. You could probably even try it with toilet paper. And see if you can construct a shirt on your dress form. All right? Now once you have this done, we will link up again next week and we will do part three. So have a great day creating and if you do not if you're frustrated and you can't get this constructed don't worry just take a piece of paper and draw what you want it to look like okay sometimes in art we have to adapt and change what we do so if you're having a hard time getting this to stick or it's not looking how you want it to look take some colored pencils take some plain white paper and just draw it out. And next time I see you in school, I can help you build it or construct it, okay? All right, so boys and girls, have a great week creating. I am so happy that we're working together again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.